we have taken a look at how exactly the arrangement of elements makes up the modern periodic table. We've also seen what the components forming it are and how we define these components, that is, the groups and the periods. Now let us talk about the trends in the periodic table. Wait a second, what do we mean by trends in the table? Here trends refer to the properties. And what kind of properties are we talking about? We usually consider a few properties important for studying the elements. Some of these include valency, atomic size, metallic and non-metallic characters and so on. Let us discuss these properties in detail. The first trend we select is valency. We know that it's defined as the capacity of the atom to give or take electrons during bond formation. Say this atom has just one electron in its outermost shell. What do you think will its tendency be? Yes, it would want to donate or lose that electron in the outermost shell. And what if an atom has seven electrons in the outermost orbit? It would have a tendency to accept or gain an electron from outside. The valency of both will be one here because the first atom can donate one electron and the second one can accept one electron. So what makes valency an important trend across the groups and periods? Let's discuss about the groups first. In any particular group, we find that elements have the same valency. That is, when we move down the group, the valency of elements remains the same. And why do you think this is the case? This is because the number of valence electrons is the same throughout the group. We can take the example of halogens for this. These are the elements belonging to the 17th column. They all have the same valency. For instance, fluorine to iodine have same number of valence electrons in their outermost orbital. That is 7. So what will be the valency of each of these four elements? Of course, 1. Because accepting one electron will be much simpler than donating 7, right? Similarly, all the elements belonging to any particular group will have the same valency. This was about valency in the groups. Now let's talk about the valency across the periods. If we notice the valency of elements belonging to the same period, we find a difference. And why does this happen? We know that metallic character of elements decreases from left to right in the period. Have you ever wondered what could be the reason for this? Let me explain. We are aware that metals have a tendency to give away electrons. This is because they have low ionization energy. Ionization energy is the energy required to remove electrons from the atom. So it takes small amounts of energy to remove electrons from their atoms. Metals have freely available electrons that can be easily lost to attain stable electronic configuration. But why are we talking about this? Well, that is because we find such a tendency shown by elements like sodium or magnesium. And these are placed towards the left in our table. So can we say that elements towards the left in a periodic table are metals? Yes. Similarly, those elements towards the right like chlorine have more valence electrons. That is the reason why they tend to accept electrons rather than losing them and hence show non-metallic characters. And that proves our point that valency across a period is variable. From the left to this point, the valency will increase from 1 to 4. And from this point to the right, it will decrease from 4 to 0. Elements towards left have lesser valence electrons and hence give away electrons easily. And on the right, the elements show a tendency to accept electrons. This is because the number of valence electrons in these is greater. And inert elements, which are on the extreme right, have zero valency and they tend to neither accept electrons nor donate electrons. This is how the valency varies across a period. So we learnt about valency of elements along the groups as well as the periods. Studying valency helps us to learn the chemical properties of elements better. That is the reason why valency is considered to be an important trend for studying elements. Now let us move a step ahead and talk about the atomic size in the next video.